Welcome back everybody to 31 Days of Horror and today we're taking a look on our 24th day at 1979's Zombie Flesh Eaters, also known as Zombie 2, which we'll get to in a minute. And uh, yeah, this was directed by Lucio Fulci, who we've already, already talked about before with The Black Cat. Uh, stars Tisa Farrow and Ian McCulloch, who I've not seen anything from before, not anything significant though. Uh, but third lead is Richard Johnson, who was also in Lara Croft Tomb Raider, The Haunting, The Monster Club and Operation Crossbow. And uh, yeah, the plot of this is about a uh, Caribbean island of Matul, which uh, where, where White Doctor David Maynard, played by Richard Johnson, is trying to stem the tide of cannibal zombies that are returning from the dead. Arriving on the island are Anne, played by Tisa Farrow, and reporter Peter West, played by Ian McCulloch, who are looking for Anne's missing father. The pair soon find themselves under attack from the zombies. Now, this was known as uh, Zombie 2 in uh, Italy because Dawn of the Dead, which came out the previous year, was known as a zombie. So uh, this is technically a sequel to that film in Italy, but not really. So, uh, yeah, but this is as basic as of, of a horror film that you can get, really, that future zombies because... Uh, the plot is pretty much non-existent and the pacing certainly could be better but despite those flaws i do find this to be rather fun while being produced with far more quality than i was expecting upon first viewing this is thanks to the great practical effects fun act, uh, fun gore decent action in the finale solid cinematography and a predominantly well done score and it also certainly has its entertaining moments now uh, sure it would have been nice to have had it been more consistent across its uh what, how long is it? Uh, 91 minute uh, runtime, but it's as good as you're going to get really from Italian uh, zombie movies, quite frankly. And I was far from bored or annoyed about it. So, uh, yeah, overall, a solid film. Nothing spectacular. And uh, yeah, you can certainly do better in terms of the uh, zombie genre. Dawn of the Dead, the previous year, is certainly better. And uh, yeah, uh, you uh, subsequently have from George A. Romero. Day of the Dead in the 80s, which is certainly better than this, and probably my favourite of that trilogy, to be honest, which probably, which certainly isn't uh, going to be the, uh, you know, the popular opinion, but I, I just love that film for its aesthetic appeal and everything like that, and uh, yeah, this does have a lot of aesthetic appeal itself, but it's purely about the violence, the gore, the zombies, and uh, the general uh, entertainment factor, rather than any... Uh, deep undercurrent social commentary that George A. Romero inflicts into his films. This has none of that. It's purely about that, the zombies and nothing more. And uh, yeah, I don't even think in some circumstances Lucio Fulci even knows what zombies are because I'm pretty sure in his film City of the Living Dead they start using weapons and running around and whatever else. So uh, yeah, either way, still solid film and you can certainly do a lot worse in terms of Italian horror. Nonetheless, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.